Friday foodie show with Stephanie Hansen. Indian food is popular all around the world, and one chef is sharing the dishes she grew up eating with the rest of us. Stephanie, that's your turn to read. Oh, uh, Chef Rash competed on Hell's Kitchen. She beat Bobby Flay on the Food Network, and she's also a chopped champion. And recently, I experienced one of her seven course dishes, and you don't want to miss it. It was a dinner that was amazing. Take a look. Stretching, getting ready for my seven courses. You just want to make tons of room. Are you coming to the dinner tonight? Sorry, I didn't want to fall. Oh, no, you just, I'm, I'm warming up. We've got seven courses, friend. Yeah. Come on, let's go. Welcome to Rag. My name is Sohail Gurha. And my name is Sira Gurha. So that's my daughter, Sira Gurha. She's the five and a half co-owner. Our menu is not your traditional Indian only. We have ribs, scallops, lobster, alongside a butter chicken and a naan bread. 2023, I wanted to now focus in the Chef Collaboration Series. Chef Roche is the first, so we will be doing more of these this year. The man next to me has a very smoky drink on his table. Oh, there's another one behind me. Wow, do we drink it? We just, oh, okay. It's just to set the mood. I just want you to notice there's nobody else like blowing on their centerpiece. <laughs> oh, and my friend Jen is here. Jen, thanks for being my dining companion. Let me introduce to you Chef Ross. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Tonight, I am just excited to A, be here with all of you, and secondly, to share my journey of food with all of you. Tonight's menu is basically a seven course journey through Sindhi cuisine. And this is mom and pop dishes that I've grown up with. Super simple flavors, more floral, more aromatic. It's home, it's home, it's who I am. I've been in the industry for over 20 years now. I believe like any young person that is passionate about whatever it is, go for it. Cause you are the richest person being happy in a career. We're ready for the first course. Thank you. This feels kind of like a delicious tostada with lentils mm. and this delicious plum jam. The lentil and then there's this green sauce, mm -hmm. which is kind of herbaceous. Okay, yum. Along the side, yum. 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 I keep just saying yum. I better get more descriptive words. Okay, so prawns are generally large shrimps. It's cooked perfectly. It's very tender. It's spicy, but not overpowering. It's super flavorful. What I like so far about the Indian food we've had is if there's heat, it's very subtle. And the smell, a little peppery, a little gingery, just like you're on a beach chair, somewhere super warm, having the best food of your whole life, but you're in Minnesota. Yum, that was amazeballs. Wow, yum. If you're keeping track, we're on course number three. Oh, look, a pansy. Did you know you can eat pansies? Normally I find okra sort of repulsive because it's kind of slimy, but the okra is like roasted. It's delicious. It's not slimy at all. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, wow. This is the course that she beat Bobby Flayed. It's really unexpected in a nice way. It's kind of like a sausage. The chicken on the inside is a little um, drier, but then the goat is a little more tender. So all of that piece together has a nice mouthfeel. A pasty, a dumpling, a galette. I mean, I it is all the things. This is like Indian comfort food mm -hmm. times 10. The crispy rice, the perfectly tender quail, and then it's enveloped in this like cinnamony, warm spiced pastry. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, this is a mushroom. What's interesting is that she scored the mushroom because she wants to get all the moisture out of it when she's trying to brown it. That sauce is killer. 
Wow, yeah. If you didn't know it was a mushroom, you might think it was like chicken or even fish. It's an excellent sixth course. <laughs> Six, yum. Thank you. This is course seven. Hello, friends. It looks fantastic. Generally, when you're serving a lamb chop like this, it's been marinated in yogurt. Mm. You get a little bit of that tangy dairy in the sauce. The meat itself was super flavorful. It had a pepper uh, seasoning on it. It's cooked perfectly. The pickled onion gives you that acid that you want as a component. This looks right up there as super delicious. Yum. Yeah. Oh, I think the ice cream's in the bottom. Wow. Citrusy and spicy and gingery. The little tapioca rice balls are just like boba in a boba tea where they kind of burst in your mouth a little bit. This is so Can good. Can we just do this? <laughs> it's so good. Chef Rosh, it's been amazing. Thank, Thank you. you for sharing your culture. My pleasure. If you get an opportunity to do a multi-course meal in a culture that's not your own, I'd highly recommend it. It's super fun. You just learn a lot. I feel like more Indian cooking is in my future. Thanks to the chefs at Rog and friend Jen and everyone that does a beautiful piece. All the photographers, Michelle, that was great. It was fun. We really did kind of feel like we were with you. I sitting had a with great you time. I mean, yeah. 18 yums is a high yum factor. And you were there for what, 12, 13 hours? Pretty How much. Long? Pretty much. And then I didn't eat for two days afterwards. But you know, it's someone's got to do the hard work. And there's another one coming up, right? Yeah, on March 15th, there's another one coming up. You can find tickets at RogDIndianCuisine.com. Or you can also find it on Eventbrite. For information after the break, I'm going to make an Indian favorite you can do at home. It's like the gateway to Indian food, very pedestrian, but we're going to start you off with the Indian butter chicken. When we return, what she said next. <laughs>